The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning. We're 30 minutes into the trading day, and you got markets accelerating to the upside. Right now, you're pushing near session highs. You got the SP up 1.4%, trading at 43.14. NASDAQ 100 continuing the run it's had since yesterday. Folks, you're talking about nearly 800 points just since 5 a.m. yesterday in the NASDAQ 100. 283 of those points taking place in this session. You're up an additional 2.1% today. You get the Dow up more than a percent right now. You get the Russell up 2% as well, back above 2,000. You got crude right at about 97.65 right now. Crude up a buck 18. Gold continuing to pull back down about 12 bucks at 1917 and on the day that we get a fed announcement at 2 p.m eastern time all indications are we'll get a 25 basis point hike this will be the liftoff folks we probably have six or seven hikes coming down the line this year alone that's as the data says now we'll see what chairman powell has to say in his press conference coming up four and a half hours from right now 2 30 p.m eastern time our man dave white will be live on the air during that program, live programming uh, during that time, folks. It's going to be an interesting day, to say the least. Jumping around to some of the headlines that kick things off. You get Russia saying a neutral Ukraine with an army could be a compromise. So you get potential easing of tensions uh, with the war. We had President Zelensky speaking to Congress one hour ago. Remarkable when you think about a wartime address uh, from President Zelensky, uh, remote of course, taking place. And then you also get China accelerating higher. The quote from China here that you want to take a look at, I mean, it's remarkable, the moves that we've had. You're talking about some of these stocks up 20 plus percent. The eye-watering rally followed a report by the official news agency that China will keep the stock market stable and support overseas listings. They also sought to resolve other woes that have plagued the market, particularly concerns over Beijing's tech crackdown, saying efforts to rectify internet platform companies should end soon. The market takes that and boy do they run with it man uh alibaba up 18.4 percent right now jd.com up 27 percent right now staggering numbers but man the fall has been pretty dramatic they'll be talking about alibaba on fast market coming up at 12 today basil did his program at eight folks that's coming up right now we got a man larry live at 11 we have fast market at 12 steve rhodes at one dave white at two and we got one more guest host coming up live at 3 o'clock from my dad. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.